Hey guys, hoping all is well with everyone. So in this video, we're going to be doing a really fun read aloud today. And then this is the story of Dragons Love Tacos uh, by Adam Rubin and illustrated by Daniel Selmieri. So definitely this book has a lot of illustrations. So as we go through each page, I'll be showing them to you after the wording on the pages. Uh, but without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Dragons Love Tacos by Adam Rubin, illustrated by Daniel Selmieri. Hey, kid, did you know that dragons love tacos? They love beef tacos and chicken tacos. They love really big, gigantic tacos and tiny little baby tacos as well. Why do dragons love tacos? Maybe it's the smell from the sizzling pan. Maybe it's the crunch of the crispy tortillas. Maybe it's a secret. Either way, if you want to make friends with dragons, tacos are key. Hey dragon, why do you guys love tacos so much? But wait, as much as dragons love tacos, they hate spicy salsa even more. They hate spicy green salsa and spicy red salsa. They hate spicy chunky salsa and spicy smooth salsa. If the salsa is spicy at all, dragons can't stand it. Why do dragons hate spicy salsa? Well, just one drop of hot sauce makes a dragon's ears smoke. Just one single speck of hot pepper makes a dragon snort sparks. Spicy salsa gives dragons the tummy troubles. And when dragons get the tummy troubles, oh boy. If you want to make tacos for dragons, keep the toppings mild. Tomatoes, check. Lettuce, check. Cheese, check. These are all good toppings for tacos for dragons. Hey dragon, how do you feel about spicy taco toppings? Dragons love parties. They like costume parties and pool parties. They like big gigantic parties with accordions and tiny little parties with charades. Why do dragons love parties? Maybe it's the conversation. Maybe it's the dancing. Maybe it's the comforting sound of a good friend's laughter. The only thing dragons love more than parties or tacos is taco parties. Taco parties are parties with lots of tacos. If you want to have some dragons over for a taco party, you'll need buckets of tacos, pant loads of tacos. The best way to judge is to get a boat and fill the boat with tacos. That's about how many tacos dragons need for a taco party. After all, 
Dragons love tacos. Hey, Dragon, are you excited for the big taco party? Just remember, dragons hate spicy salsa. Before you host your taco party with dragons, get rid of all the spicy salsa. In fact, bury the spicy salsa in the backyard so the dragons can't find it. These dragons love your taco party. They love the music, they love the decorations, they especially love the tacos. Congratulations! It's a good thing you got rid of all that spicy... Wait a second. What are those little green things in the salsa? You didn't read the fine print! Dragons, listen to me. Do not eat those tacos. Those little green specks in the salsa, those are jalapeno peppers. They are super spicy. I know you love tacos, dragons, but you are not going to love those tacos. Do not let those dragons eat those tacos. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Too late. Why would dragons help you rebuild your house? Maybe they're good Samaritans. Maybe they feel bad for wrecking it. Maybe they're just in it for the taco breaks. After all, Dragons love tacos. <laughs> and that is the story of Dragons Love Tacos by Adam Rubin and illustrated by Daniel Salmieri. I hope you guys enjoyed that read aloud. It was one of my favorite books as a kid, and I hope you enjoyed it too. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, please take good care of yourselves and be safe, and we look forward to seeing you in our next read-along story. Um, but until then, take good care. Bye.